Hello everyone, David here. I love a good Premier Inn. It's basic, but it has everything you really need. Bed, bathroom, and just enough to make a cup of tea. And it's usually very clean and comfortable. I would totally do the voiceover for a Premier Inn advert on TV, if they ever asked. They also give you a TV. So if you need to park up and do a bit of work, or just want to relax and play some games, or log into Netflix with your own account, what's the best way to do this? Well, you need your own device, really, even if it's just your phone, although a tablet, gaming handheld, or laptop is preferable. And then bring your own HDMI cable. And if your device doesn't already have HDMI out, bring a dongle so you can hook it up. For power, I use this nice Ugreen 65W charger, which folds up very nicely and has a few ports on the end. It's great for travelling. Then look for the mysterious HDMI socket on the wall. If it's connected to the TV, you should be able to plug into this and then press the source button a few times to switch to your device. If you don't have the magic hole in the wall, you might be able to plug into the TV directly, although they do like to wall mount it so the ports aren't very accessible. See if you can feed it through, but don't pull on the TV or poke your fingers into any tiny crevices. It's not worth it, and remember you'll have to unplug it again anyway when you leave. I found that once I'd plugged in a device using the HDMI socket, I was able to select HDMI 1 as a source on the TV and use it like an external monitor. However, if you're locked out for some reason, you could try this secret code that works on some Samsung TVs. Using the remote, press mute, then the number keys 119, and then OK, or return. You might get access to a menu that lets you change from hospitality mode back to interactive, which gives you more options. But I've found this is highly dependent on the TV and hotel, so it won't work everywhere. It's worth a try though, if you hit a brick wall otherwise. To control your new office setup, I recommend some kind of Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. You can get full-sized ones, or miniature combined ones if you just need it to start your Netflix movie. This tiny keyboard and mouse combo has its own dongle, and combined with a small dock for your device means you can keep the overall size down. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, you can use DeX to put the device into an almost Windows-like environment, suitable for working on documents and light entertainment. Or in the case of this Lenovo Y700 tablet, it has an extended mode which makes the external monitor act like a desktop. If you have a gaming system like the ROG Ally, you basically do have a laptop so you can control it like a PC anyway. If you get unlucky and can't connect via HDMI, then check if your device can already work in some kind of productivity setup. For example, the Y700 has a PC mode, which is a bit like using DeX but entirely on the tablet. Everything is a bit cramped, but in a pinch you can have several windows open and multitask to some degree. My preferred setup is to get something hooked up to the TV that isn't my phone, so I can have something playing there and still use my phone to reply to messages or, how quaint, make a phone call. With a Bluetooth remote like this, it's easy to control it at a distance. Android apps have really matured over the last few years. Whereas a few years ago, I found just using DeX to make a video a somewhat daunting challenge, now I would quite enjoy making one using LumaFusion. It's better if I have a big screen, of course, but as long as I have a mouse, I could probably get the job done. If you have some app recommendations for making professional content, but on the move, I'd love to know about them in the comments section below. So there you go, I hope this was useful, or at least gave you a few ideas for your next work pilgrimage. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up, and it'll help me out if you subscribe to the channel as well. See you next time.